Hi guys, hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about how you can locate your physical files and logical files when you do not have access to System I Navigator. You have to open IBM Rational Developer for I, which you could locate under the Start button. For me, I have placed it right on my uh, desktop as an icon. You click OK on your workspace. After that, you click on Window Menu, then you click on Perspective, and you have to change your perspective from, in my case, I am in Remote Systems Explorer, to Database Perspective. So I click on Open Perspective, and since Database is not listed in the list, I'll click Other, and I will choose Database Development Perspective and click OK. Now it shows me the Data Source Explorer and I am not connected to my server yet, so I will now connect to my server by simply right-clicking on the database connection and clicking on New. Then in from the list, I will choose DB2 for I because that is my connection and I'll write the name of my host. And I'll hit the finish button. Once I hit the finish button, it loads deathstar.gtc.edu right over here in the list. Now I can filter the schemas or I can click on the schema and locate my profile right from here. To filter the schema, you right click and you choose filter. You uncheck disable filter, you click selection. Then you scroll down in the list and you locate your um, ID and then you click on your ID. And then you click OK, and that way only your schema will show in the list. After that, you open your schema, and then under Tables, all your physical files are located. If you would like to look at the content of any of these physical files, uh, this is where under the Tables, all your physical files are located, and all your logical files will be located under Views. So if you want to look at the content of your logical file or physical file, you simply right click on it and click on data, return all rows. And you will be able to see the output right in the bottom right corner. You can always expand this list. And same goes for any physical file whose content you would like to see. You can simply right click and, and uh, go under data and return all rows. So right now I'm looking at all rows of a physical file and this basically it shows all the output. Also, if you would like to make any changes, you can click on edit and then this is where you can edit the changes. For example, if I want to change the price, I can double click and make the price, let's say 430 and I press enter. And as soon as I save the changes, it will tell me over here that the process ran successfully and all data was saved successfully. So let's check. Let me close this and uh, let me reopen and return all rows. And you will be able to see that the price of item 66 is now changed to 430. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.